Welcome to the spoken tutorial on configuration management in the admin interface. In this tutorial, we will learn about some menu items such as extend, configuration, people, and report. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system, Drupal 8, and Firefox web browser. You can use any web browser as per your choice. Let us open our website which we created earlier. As we mentioned earlier, Drupal is like a framework, so it doesn't actually do a lot. This extend link on the administration toolbar is very important when we begin to build our site. Click on extend. This gives us an overview of all of the modules on our site. Modules are features. We will cover them in detail later on. This is the list of some of the modules that come with Drupal. We can see what has been enabled or not enabled just by looking at the check marks. The Extend menu allows us to see all the modules or features that we have enabled on our Drupal site. We will be adding a number of modules to our site as we go throughout this series. Let's look at the configuration menu now. Only site administrators get access to this area. Because we are the super user or the user number one, we have access to everything. Notice that there's a red pop-up on the screen. You may or may not have this on your screen. It says that the status report hasn't run and that I need to check if my Drupal site is up to date. I am going to ignore that for now and worry about that when we get to the report screen. This particular menu gives us access to configuring all the different aspects of our site. Like site information, account settings, text formats and editors, performance issues, maintenance mode, image styles, and others. We will go through these in detail later on in this series. But for now, let us update our site information. Click on Site Information. And let's change our site name to Drupalville. And in the slogan, type a great place to learn all about Drupal. Whenever we make changes like this, they change the entire site. This is one of the great things about content management systems. So now, whether we had one page or a thousand pages on our site, the site name across the top of every single page will be Drupalville. That is a really big improvement over static HTML. Also on this page, we get the email address, which is the from address in automated emails. We can also choose a different front page and a default 403 and 404 page. Recall that in Drupal, every page is a web form. So every time we make a change on our Drupal page, we have to click Submit or Save. Let's click on the Save Configuration button at the bottom. Then click on Back to Site. Notice that our site name is now Drupalville and we have a slogan on every page of our site. We will explore the configuration menu in detail in later tutorials. Let's click People on the Administration toolbar. It takes us to the people area on our Drupal site. You'll notice the tabs, list, permissions, and roles. This is just an introduction. We'll cover these in much more detail later. The roles section allows us to create user accounts, manage permissions about what people can see and what people can do on our site. The username admin is here. If we click edit, we can see all the things about our own user account. We can change the password provided we know the current one. 
there is an option to reset it if we don't know. Here it tells us that our role is administrator. My status is active. And we have our own personal contact form and our location settings. We can update and add our own picture by clicking on the browse button under picture. So basically, this is where we can manage our own profile. Now click on save. To summarize, roles tab allows us to add various roles. Permissions tab allows us to give certain permissions to those roles. And list tab allows us to assign users to those roles. They'll get certain permissions which will allow them to do certain things and see certain things on our Drupal site. People is where we can manage all the users on our Drupal website. The last thing we look at on our administration toolbar is reports. Click on reports. This gives us a listing of some important things that we need to know about our Drupal site. For example, are there any available updates, recent log messages, a listing of all the fields on all entity types, status reports, top access denied and page not found errors, top search phrases, and some of the plugins that our views may use. Click on available updates. This will give us a listing of all the things that might need to be updated. We can also see that the last update was 48 minutes ago. This is managed by Cron and we need to set this up on our server. For now, just click on Check Manually. Drupal will now check all the things that we have installed and let us know that we are up to date. If we had added more modules or features to our site, there would be a bigger list here. We will check this again later on as we go through this tutorial. Click on reports to get a status report of our site. For example, what version of Drupal we have and when cron was last run. Here we can see a link from where we can run cron externally. Our database system, database version, etc. You should keep a close look on the report section of your site. Especially if you are the person responsible for maintaining all the updates for Drupal and the modules that you download. Lastly, we have help and help gives us link to help page of our site. That sums up our administration toolbar. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about menu items, extend, configuration, people, and report. This video is adapted from Acquia and OS Training and revised by Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. The video at this link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NNEICT, Ministry of Human Resource Development and NVLI, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Varsha Venkatesh signing off. Thanks for joining.